<clears throat> a thorn in the flesh. First off, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. All right. To the Akiyam out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice, offering up a, a perfect sacrifice unto the Lord. All right. I want to say Shalom to you brothers as well, to the elect. All right. <clears throat> Let's push in this word in truth and sincerity. Spreading across the four corners of the earth as it was uh, ordained for you to do and uh, order for you to do. To the best of your abilities, want to say Shalom. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Also, continue to spread it. All right? That good news, man. And um, it's not an easy thing. This is definitely a fight. <clears throat> but uh, wouldn't want to fight with nobody, no brothers other, you know, than the elect, man. Lord willing. We are of the elect, you know, Lord willing, we are of the one third and elect, man, because we're hoping to have mercy, the Lord have mercy and show leniency on us in these days to come. <clears throat> so, right, for the brothers you've given me, the I'll keep you've given me, you know, I ask that you uh, guide us with truth, all right, and, and not with wickedness. Hey, to the uh, few aqua that's out there listening and learning in silence, <clears throat> I'm going to say shalom to you as well. All right, because you're fighting as well, too. Don't think that you don't get to fight because you're a woman. All right? Uh, you know, you'll, you'll, yeah, if you're a husband, if you have a husband <clears throat> and he's of the elect or he's of the one-third, guess what? If he's getting going through the fire, you're going to have to go through it with, it with him. You know, it's not easy to be a woman of the Lord, because it's just as much, even more, not easy to be a man of the Lord. So you'll get tested as well. So Tawari Yaba Hashem for that. All right. Um, just wanted to bring that out. That was on my spirit to bring that out. Uh, this particular video, you know, I was reading Second Corinthians chapter 12, you know. Paul was uh, going deep, man, you know. And... Um, this this one stood out to me, you know. Uh, this 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 uh, subject, you know, stood out to me. That's talking about a thorn in the flesh, man. All right, that thorn in your flesh, man. If you really think about an actual thorn that's lodged into your flesh or whatever you rubbed, it's not a um, uh, good feeling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not a good feeling, man. You know, it's a very irritating type of pain, you know, and it's something that you want to get out of your flesh, man. All right. Immediately, in a sense, you know, because you the, the, the pain is unbearable, man, to where, you know, you, you can't bear that. OK. And then, <laughs> you know, hey, 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 the Lord is doing that to us, you know, with these trials, you know, that he's taking us through, man. It is like it unto a thorn, man. All right? Hey, guess what? He used Satan, you know, uh, to, 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 to bring that upon you, man. All right? To bring those infirmities or, 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 or these, these trials, you know, upon you, man. He's using Satan to do that. All right? Hey, but it's not, he's not using Satan to do that, you know, for our ruin, man. Is all to build us up into the perfect man of the Lord that he wants us to be, man. All right? So <clears throat> we have to look at ourselves as the prize fighter, which is really how it shy is the prize fighter. You know, don't don't quote me and don't get me wrong, not exalting myself uh, or ourselves over above, you know, how it's shy. But, you know, I'm liking it until <clears throat> a, a prize fighter, man, right? And with that prize fighter, man, you know, hey, 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 that prize fighter always needs uh, uh, sparring partners, man. All right? And what is that job for that sparring partner, man? It's to build you up. All right? 
those those sparring partners, you got to get the best of the best, man. And the best sparring partner that we have in the spirit is what? Who? Satan, man. Hey, the, the, the Lord Yahweh, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is using Satan as our spiritual sparring partners, man. You know? And this this understanding was given to me from uh, a couple of brothers. Like I said, I didn't I don't remember their name or whatever. But with the, when they brought this out, it made so much sense, man. You know, it made so much sense. That analogy of Satan being a, a spiritual uh, sparring partner is, is is very so much accurate, man, to me. You know, because like I say, you're you're the prize fighter. Right. And the sparring partners are there to get you equipped for the battle, man, that you're facing, man. All right. And Satan is that sparring partner. And guess what? You would look at a sparring partner as he, oh, he's just a sparring partner. He's nothing. He has no skills. Trust me, that sparring partner has a lot of skills, if not more skills than the actual fighter, man. All right. If not more. OK. The only difference is that prize fighter is what chosen. Chosen from who? Chosen from the most high power, Yahweh, man, and his son, Yahweh Shai. OK. So, hey, hey, don't think for one second that 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 sparring partner is not good, man. He has to be good to be able to equip you from the battle that the Lord is taking you through. All right. But he uses Satan as that spiritual part for uh, sparring partner, man. All right. To buffet you, as Paul was talking about in the scripture, man. All right. And we're going to look up those words, you know, uh, whatever. But I just wanted to bring that out, that analogy out, man, because it makes so much sense when you like it into uh, a boxing match. All right. And within that boxing match, leading up to the to that fight, all right, guess what? You know, you're going to have to have discipline going, you know, um, going leading up to that fight, man. Hey, 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 boxers don't have sex, you know. Some boxers don't have sex. You know, some boxers have to refrain on, 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 a, on, a, on a strict diet, you know. They have to know when to take in water, when to... Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't drink water and drink water to keep weight, you know. Okay, you have to run, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, miles and miles to keep your wind up, you know what I'm saying. Hey, these things right here, man, hey, hey, is discipline, man, leading up to the fight, man. All right? And that's likened into that straight gate, man. Well, we have to stay disciplined in the flesh, you know, and subdue the flesh, man. You know, to the best of our ability, man. Okay? And it's just, we getting prepared for a fight, man. It's, 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 it's times are coming, perilous times that are coming, you know? Hey, but once it's, once it's fight night, it's fight night, man. You know? And, and everything that you learn and, 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 and that you've been going through leading up to the fight, then guess what? <clears throat> this is when we apply it, man. Hey, we we coming up into the times that the things that we are learning, we're going to have to apply this, man. All right? We're going to have to fight. All right? Hey, the scripture said, let no man take your crown, man. All right? And those crowns in the boxing is likened into those belts, man. All right? So we're the champion, man. Hey, because the Lord gave us uh, 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 the, the, the right to be a champion, man. All right? Hey, a champion, what? Perseveres through adversity, man. He perseveres through fight after fight after fight, man. Hey, hey, and guess what, man? Some fights you lose, man. But, hey, some fights, guess what? You're going to win, man. You're a prize fighter, man. And as fighters, guess what? You want to pick the best fighter, man. All right. I mean, it's like you want to pick the pick the best fights, man. All right. And what what, what other best fight is it? You know, to then to you know uh, it then Satan, man. Hey, Satan gonna come and, and and tempt you. All right. But it was all sent from the Lord, man. And the Lord is gonna, cause the Lord is trying you. All right. 
So let me stop babbling too much. You know, it's just something that I, you know, it made so much sense to me, man. You know, you like it into a ba a battle, man, or a boxing match, man, or an MMA match. All right. Hey, hey, Satan is our spiritual sparring partner, man. Okay. So we have to fight, man. And it's not going to be an easy sparring match, man. All right. Right now, we're trying. We, 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 we're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Okay. So I'm going to finish this uh, scripture. It says a thorn in the flesh. It said, least and least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. Hey, the Lord will give you revelations, man. He will reveal a lot of things to us, man, uh, in this walk. Okay, you reveal a lot of things about yourself in this walk, man. All right, what you good at, what you not good at. All right, but ultimately those revelations of will be would would be those prophecies, man. All right, and there's knowledge and understanding that the Lord has revealed to you and gave you that increase to know. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. But hey, Paul said hey, hey, at least he be exalted above measure. To the abundance of revelations, hey, exalted what being what proud, you know, or or trying to say that uh, what he what was revealed to him was from him, you know, but it wasn't revealed to him of him, you know, he didn't learn this information, he did these revelations or this knowledge, man, with his own wits, you know, this was all due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai giving him the increase, all right, and and this and this is exactly what the Lord does to us. All right. So we ought not to exalt ourselves, you know, over <clears throat> Yahweh Shai, man. Because Yahweh Shai gave us the, uh, you know, sent down the Holy Spirit to be able to, for us to obtain this truth, man. All right. We can't exalt, us, exalt ourselves above measure, man. Above what the Lord gave us, man. And the Lord gave each and every one of the, uh, bro you know, these brothers a measure. Of this truth or those revelations, man. All right. So that's not, not nothing to be taken lightly. All right. It says there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, and it's going to explain what that thorn in the flesh. Like I explained to you earlier, man, and that thorn in the flesh is not an easy thing to deal with, man. When you have an actual thorn in your flesh, all right. Hey, that shit hurts. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but the difference between, you know what I'm saying, a, a man, a, you know what I'm saying, a man of the Lord or whatever, and just a regular old man, hey, a, a man of the Lord is going to is learn, learns how to fight through, you know, uh, his, his, his injuries, man. <laughs> and those are those infirmities that that's, that Paul is talking about. You have to be able to fight hurt, man. You know, a great fighter, hey, they, fights with, they fight with broken fingers, broken hands, you know what I'm saying? Ankle mess, messed up or whatever it is. Be rolled over for wearing those shoes in the ring. You know? <laughs> hey, it's a lot of infirmity. I mean, uh, injuries that you that you deal with, you know, while you're boxing, man. All right? Mentally uh, 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 thinking that you're not, you're, not, you're not capable of going through this fight. All right? Or defeating your opponent. That's an infirmity as well, man. Or injury. Or a flaw. Hey, but the Lord said we are going to win. Hey, the Lord already gave us the crown. All right? We just have to maintain that crown, man. The Lord, hey, the, the Lord, hey, we have to maintain it. And, and, and hey, spiritually, we have it. But, hey, when, when the Lord comes back, man, hey, we're going to have it spiritually and physically, man. All right? Hey, the scriptures say the kingdom of heaven is in within you, man. All right. So we already uh, have the ability to obtain the kingdom of heaven. All right. Spiritually and mentally. Why? Because we're meditating on this word, man. All right. And the Lord will give that increase, man. So we're, we have to be able to uh, fight while we're injured in a sense, man. Fighting while injured. In a sense, man, you're not going to be 100% uh, every time you have a match, man. Every time you go through a, a fight, man. All right? So you got to learn how to fight. Hey, fight backwards, counter punch, you know? 
adjust in the ring. Okay. Hey, and with that, man, you, you become a, a, a great fighter, man. Because why? You can adjust. You can adapt. You know? Hey, you can switch southpaw. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and throw throw your opponent off, man. And and you, how do you combat Satan, man? You combat Satan with the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. No different than uh, 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 what Yahweh Shai did, you know, uh, uh, in the wilderness, man. When he was getting tempted of, of Satan, man. All right? Hey, a servant is not greater than his master, man. Hey, guess what? If Yahweh Shai got tempted himself, guess what? We're going to have to go through the same temptation, man. All right? Hey, this fight is, is not meant to be easy, man. It's meant to give you bruises, cuts. All right? It's meant to, get, you know, knock you down. Hey, hey, the scriptures say, hey, a man falls seven times, man. Righteous man falls seven times, man, but, but he get back up, man. And, hey, hey, you got to get back up, man. Don't get counted out, man. All right? Come back to your senses, man, and, and understand that you in a fight, man. And you keep swinging. And that's what it is, you know, when it comes to the Lord, man. All right? The Lord wants us to keep swinging, man. Okay? And with that being said, man, you know what I'm saying? You have to understand that, you know, uh, and that you are in a fight. Like I say, and, and Satan is your spiritual sparring partner, man. All right? Equipping you for this battle, man, that the Lord has taken us through. Okay? So with that being said, let's finish uh, 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 reading. It says, I'm going to start over. It says, Second uh, Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, it says, at least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelation. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, man. Right? Hey, why? Because you always, it's, it's always a war, you know, a fight between the spirit and the flesh, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai went through it himself, man. He said the, the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Hey, the flesh want to do fleshly things, man. <laughs> you know, the flesh wants to appease the flesh, man. Hey, whether it be sex, whether it be food, all right? Whether it be certain comforts, you know, in your house. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey deals with the spirit, man. Hey, and it's not going to be uh, comfortable all the time. It's the things is not going to be sweet all the time, you know? You got to learn how to f uh, fight uh, and adjust through the fight, man. Okay, you have to have you have to be able to uh, take that bitter, man. You know. Hey, 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 I always like to bring out. Hey, hey, Mike Tyson said was was which was a great quote. He said, "Everybody got a plan until you get punched in the mouth, man." All right. You you got you can you got a boxer who do all this. Boxing and he throw so many punches and all that shit. And as soon as a motherfucker get hit in the mouth, or as soon as a motherfucker get hit, that's when you understand and know that he's not a real, a true boxer, man. Hey, a true boxer uh, not can not only dish a hit out or a punch out, but he can also be able to take a punch as well too, you know, and know how to adjust while getting punched, while getting punched. All right. And that's us, man, in this truth, man. Hey, look here. We got to learn how to adjust while we getting punched, man. While Satan is coming to tempt us and, and the Lord is putting that thorn in our side for a reason, man. It's not It's not just to destroy us, man. It's to humble us, you know, and keep us uh, m uh, in a mournful state. You know what I mean? Right now is not the time to be in a happy, like a happy go lucky. No, it's a hey, destruction is coming to this man, to this earth. The Lord gave us the uh, the understanding to go out here and prophesy lamentations, mourning, and woe, man. Destruction, man. All right. And this is not the time for that, man. Ecclesiastes tells us that it's the time for everything, man. Okay, but not to go off, you know. Um, <clears throat> it says uh, that revelation, it says there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, right? <clears throat> it says the messenger of Satan to buffet me. 
That was the thorn, man. Hey, Saint, Satan is there to fight your ass. He's that spiritual sparring partner. All right. You know what I want to do? I want to look up sparring partner. All right. The job of a sparring partner. Just, you know, on the fly, you know, that's me on the fly. Uh, the job of a sparring partner. All right. I just want to see what it says. It says a sparring partner. I is a person trained in the same activity. So, <laughs> hey, Satan knows this Bible, man. All right. Satan knows the truth. All right. Hey, hey, he's trained in that same thing, man. OK. And guess what? Like I say, Satan knows, you know, um, Satan knows, you know, the scriptures, man, a, 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 a better than some of us do, man. If not bat better, man, he's been doing this for a while, okay? He's one of them old veteran boxers, man, you know? Just because a motherfucker old and, you know, that don't mean, you know, that, that, that he ain't got them skills, man, all right? This is that old serpent from the garden, man, who deceived Eve, man, okay? This is the same one, and this is when everything was good, and they had the, they had the kingdom, of heaven, man. They had a utopia. Could you imagine us not in a, a utopia now? You know? And we got to fight this motherfucker now? You know, <laughs> it's getting dirty, man. Hey, and Satan fighting dirtier than the motherfucker, right? He, he, he'll he kick you in the balls. You know, you boxing, he'll kick you in the balls. <laughs> you know, he'll head bunch your ass. You know what I'm saying? He'll hit you in the back of the head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. You know? Hey, hey, hey. That's 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 Satan, man. That's how he gonna come. And you gotta be prepared for that those hits, man. All right? It said a sparring partner is a person trained in the same activity as you can help. You know, as you can, it says help you improve. Your skills. <laughs> it says help you improve your skills, man. Hey, 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 and what's being skilled is that wisdom, man. Because guess what? When you look at the word wisdom, you know, in, in the Proverbs or the Ecclesiastes, you know, the, you know, the Solomon's writings, guess what? It goes into uh, uh, um, sk uh, 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 like skilled, man, being skilled or being skilled in war. All right. Or in a battle. All right. Look it up. You know, so so I'll probably go into it for you. You know, just just being being able to apply that wisdom, man. Hey, hey, meaning you perfecting your craft. You're skilled in your craft. All right. A sparring partner is a person trained in the same activity as you can. As like as you who can help you improve your skills, man. And that's how we got to look at Satan, man. All right. Satan is uh, uh, our spiritual part, sparring partner, man. And he's there to for us to improve our skills, man. In this truth, man. Through, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, 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 he was he was put there by Yahweh Shai, man. He said, huh? Like he did Job. He said, huh? Here's my servant Job. And that's what they do. You know, sparring partners, they say, hey, hey, go spar with him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go over there and spar with him, you know what I mean? And, and see how he is, you know? Get him ready, you know? Come on, man. Hey, this is this is the truth, man. This is the moth, man, the truth. All right? <clears throat> it says, a sparring partner is a person trained in the same activity as you, as you who can help you improve your skills, man. Right? It said, why? Because when you skilled in war, man, that's wisdom, man. That's wisdom, man. All right? And you had to go through experience after experience to be able to, you know, uh, get you ready for, equipped and equipped for the battle so you can be able to apply that wisdom. You know? Hey, they probably have, hey, the boxers probably have 
thousands of sparring fights, sparring fights, man, before they, before the, um, you know, it takes them to that level that of a Mayweather, you know, thousands, ten thousands, man, whatever. Okay. And all that is was he equipped him for the fight, man. Okay. <clears throat> to be that prize fighter, it says, in the context of mental health. A sparring partner is someone who challenges you to grow and overcome obstacles. There we go. And the Lord put Satan there and put that thorn in our side, whether it, whatever it may be, man. For some people, for some men of the Lord, it might be a, a, a sickness, man. All right? Uh, for some uh, men of the Lord, it, it might be their woman, you know? It might be fi uh, financial problems, you know. Hey, for some people, it might it might be fr uh, so called friends of the world, you know. Whatever it may be, man, the Lord puts put Satan there as a spiritual partner for you for not for you to just sulk in your fucking miseries, man. But it's for you to fight, man. It's for you to overcome that shit, man. All right. It's for you to overcome, man. All through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We got to be men and overcome this shit, man. And it's not going to be easy. No fight that you've been in, all right, has been. So this is no different. It says, in, in the context of mental health, a... Uh, a, 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 a sparring partner is someone who challenges you to, to grow and overcome obstacles. Sparring partners are essential because they help us feel more comfortable around other people, right? And that's so true, man. Hey, 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 we got to be able to abound in the base like Paul say, man. All right? We got to understand that, you know, a. Hey, a a a a a a a whatever Satan is is doing, you know, it, it is ordained of the Lord, man, to do for him to do. All right, guess what? The Lord already know you're gonna overcome it anyway. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And He gave Satan bounds that he cannot cross from fucking with you, man. That just like He did with Job. He said, "Hey, do whatever you want to do. Hey, just don't take his life, man." All right? And what happened with Job? Job's wife had cursed him, man. His kids was taken away. All right? His riches and his substance was uh was stripped away from him. All right? His wife told him, hey, man, why don't you curse, curse the most high Yahweh man and, and, and die, man? <laughs> hey, he said, you, fu you fool, man. Right? He called this woman a fool, man. Hey, the Lord gave us riches, man. It's only right that he going to give us poverty, man. You know what I'm saying? We receive the good from the most high power, man. It's only right that we receive bad. And But it's not put there to, um, you know, it's not it's not there to, uh, to, 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 to ruin them. It's there to give you that balance and to keep you humble. That was his thorn. All right? And we all have our thorns, man. In this flesh, man, dealing with this flesh. If we in the flesh, we gonna have it anyway, cause this flesh, you know, is weak. But the spirit is willing, man. We are in a ch in chains of darkness already, man. And these bodies is going to die. They're mortal. All right, but we are obtaining to be immortal, man, meaning not die. Okay, so this flesh itself is a thorn, man, on top of all the things that Satan is, is putting, you know, is there to equip you with. Hey, he's sending a shots at your ass, man. All right. Jab after jab, you know, and, and right now <laughs> hey, he, he's sending he's sending he throwing power punches, man. He's throwing haymakers. Because he know he got a short time, man. So he's trying to knock your ass out, man, before the kingdom comes, man. Before Yahweh Shai come back. 
Hey, but we dodging them, man. All through the spirit and power, you have Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. We got to understand the fight under pressure, man. All right? But I, I just thought that that was, I, that was beautiful to, to look up, man. You know? It said the benefits of, of a sparring partner. It says a strategic sparring partner will challenge your thinking, right? Ask some tough questions and help you get to the core of the issue, man. A good sparring par partner will even help you clarify your role in the situation by holding up the mirror for you and showing you your blind spots. You see that? And that's what it is, man. We we learning how to reveal our blind spots, man, and within this walk, man, this truth and life. Right? Shit that we ain't even think about, man. You know, we don't even think about the Lord putting us in certain scenarios to where we're going to have to adjust to that. You know? Why should we be apply, we'll be able to apply that wisdom when these times come, man? And we in them times. Okay? Now, let's look up this word buffeted, <clears throat> all right? It said, in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, it says, a thorn in the flesh, it says, at least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, <clears throat> the messenger of Satan <laughs> to buffet me, right? Let's look up that word buffet. <clears throat> Okay. Buffet. In the Greek, it's Strong's G twenty eight fifty two, Kalafizo. Kalafizo. Right. Kalafizo. It means what? To strike with the fist. <laughs> what? To give one a blow with the fist. Right. To treat with violence and. Uh, uh, contumely. So like it. Yeah. Right? Well, I don't, let me see what this means. I don't even know what that means. It's all abuse. Hey. <laughs> contumely. Right? Pretty much abuse, man. Right? Insulting language. You know, hey, calling you a, a, you know, a bitch while he, while he hitting you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. <laughs> hey, that's what Satan, that's what Satan's job is to buffet you, man. It's to strike you, man. And he's striking you with, with, with your thorn, whatever your thorn may be. Right? It, it could be, like I say, it can be in an in a, in a, in a, in a, in a understanding of finances, you know, a, a disease or a sickness, you know, your woman, okay, your, your own plays of the mind, whatever it may, may be, your past, you know what I'm saying, your past uh, drug dealing days, you know. The fact that you ain't got no money now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got to live like a, a, a regular old Joe, you know? That's okay. Right? It's okay, man. All right? So, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey that's what Satan's job is, is to strike you, man. All right? Like I said, he's your spiritual sparring partner, man. Okay? So we, hey, he's there to equip us, man. The Lord put him there to equip us, man. Hey, his job is to destroy your ass. Hey, but the Lord gave him bounds that he can't. He can't pass a lot of that shit. He can't. He he, he he can't kill you, man. Only the Lord has the power to do that, man. His name is Yahweh, man. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So, hey, like Ephesians chapter six talks about, man. We're in a spiritual war, man. Let's get that right quick. Let's get that right quick. Right? It says, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, it says, the armor of the most high power. Right? It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power, power of whose might? His might. <laughs> All right? Yahweh Bashim Shai. It says, put on the whole armor of the most high power, right? That ye may be able to withstand 
or to stand against the wiles of the devil, man. That go that word wild goes into the devices, man, or the tricks. All right. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, right? Against powers and against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's the fight, man. All right. Hey, this government that we're in, man, it is a spiritual wickedness in high places, man. Why? Because they're coming out to the working of Satan, man. All right. And their job is to keep us at, a, at the bottom. Their job is to uh, buffet us, in a sense, of what we're talking about in 2 Corinthians. Their job is to buffet us, man, and, and strike a blow that, that, that would destroy us, man. Hey, but the Lord didn't call us in this thing for us to be destroyed, man. Okay? But this is what we wrestling, man. We wrestling, this is a spiritual fight, man. They're, they are going to, they're, they're fighting a carnal fight, man. So everything that they're doing, man, is, is, is to, 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 to get us out from serving the Lord, man. <clears throat> you know? Get us out of the mindset of, of serving the Lord. You know? So they're going to put us at the bottom. You know? And, and exalt their sins at the, at the, at, on the, on, on, above us. All right? They're going to put us in the worst conditions, the worst schools, they got the worst food, man. All right? Our women is the worst, in the worst condition, man. <clears throat> okay? That's, the, that's their job. But it's all to equip us, man. All right? In these times to come, man. And for this kingdom of heaven, the Lord had to put us through this, man. Because we do disobey. Okay? And that's it, man. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians and we're going to close up. 2 Corinthians. Right? It says, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm going to read it again. It says, And least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelation that was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me. Least I should be exalted above measure, man. Hey, it's there to keep our ass humble, man. These things are there to keep us humble, man. It should bring humility, man. Right? This is pride shouldn't even be in your spirit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's one thing the Lord, you know, uh, dislikes, man, is a poor man that's proud, man. How you going to be proud and you at the bottom, man? All right? So it's a sense of humility and humbleness, man, that needs to come to you, man. You know? Needs to be in you, man. Okay? That thorn, hey, the Lord could have took that thorn from Paul, man. The, hey, hey, Paul asked him three times, man, to take that, those, that thorn. All right? Hey, Yahweh Shai did it, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai asked, I believe it was three times, and, and he said, hey, hey, take this cup from me, man. Okay? That was, hey, that was his thorn at the time. Whatever he had to go through, he went through that shit for us, man. No, the Lord didn't answer uh, Yahweh Shai. He said, hey, hey, but, it, but it's going to be your will, man. All right, and that's it. That's it. It's the Lord's will, man. We got to go through it. Even if we don't want to go through it, we got to go through this shit, man. Yahweh Shai was in the flesh, man. All right? And he had to go through it. The servant is not greater than his master, man. He had to go through it. We got to go through it. Okay? Call all you have about Shimia Shai for even giving us that understanding to know that we got to go through it, man. Hey, Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, all right? Chapter 2. It said, My son, when thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble, man. Right? All right? 
So it's going to come a point that you come to serve the Lord, man. You're going to get tempted, man. You're going there. The Lord is going to try you, man. Okay? And he's going he's gonna to send Satan, man, as that thorn in your flesh, man. You irritating motherfucker, man. Meaning Satan. He's gonna. He's there to irritate you, man. Let's look at the word irritating and see what that say. I'm probably an Edema. All right? Ir ir <laughs> irritant. <laughs> right? It says, uh, let's look at irritant. It says, to excite or to provoke, right? He wanted you to be fucking, you know what I'm saying? Act, act uh, you know, out of impulse, you know? It's to uh, irritate, to stimulate, to, to like, uh, stimulate to action, to rouse, incite, you know? And that's what that's what that's what uh, Satan is there to do, man. Hey, we supposed to be poised, you know. We supposed to be poised, man. Especially when going through circumstances, man. Why? Because we don't want to make no uh, impulsive decision, man. You know. Just because we going through something, hey, that's what makes us dif different from the women, man. Is we're able to fight under pressure, man. Because the Lord gave us those shoulders to bear it, those spiritual shoulders to bear it, man, and that mental capacity to be able to hold, I mean, withstand that, okay? And hey, we all got thorns in the side, man. Satan is there to be our spiritual sparring partner, man, okay? He's there to irritate your ass, you know? He's very sly. He's very susceptible, you know, in his punches. All right? Don't think for one second, man, Satan don't know what he's doing, man. All right? He was able to deceive Eve in, have, in, in, in a heavenly state on earth, man. All right? And Adam was able, was, 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 was had her to deceive him. Into doing some shit that the Lord gave him the, the rules and the uh, understanding not to do, man. And all of it came through, through the envy of Satan, man. We died, man. And what did, what did Satan say? The serpent said, oh, you should not surely die, man. Okay? But it all worked out for the good, man. Why? Because we had to go through the bad to become what? Judges and rulers. All right? On earth, in the kingdom. It's all for our better. It's all, it's, hey, the sparring partner is there to, to make you better. So we got to go through this. We have to embrace it. We have to embrace it. Okay? Let's read a couple more and I'm going to get up out of here. It says, uh, uh, verse 8, for this thing... I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. Hey, Paul was like, hey, he prayed to the Lord three times to take it from him, man. Just like Yahweh Shai did. Yahweh Shai did not want to die, you know, for, for, for when it came down to that opportunity, right? He did not want to die, man. Right then, man. He was buffeted. Okay. He prayed to the Lord three times, take this cup from me, man. And when the Lord didn't answer the prayer, he knew that he had to go through it the third time. He knew he had to go through it, man. Okay? A servant is not greater than his master, man. It's going to come to a point in time where we want to quit, man. We want to say, Lord, take this shit from me, man. I don't want to go through this. I ain't trying to go through this. And when the Lord... Answer your prayers by changing it or don't changing it. Hey, guess what? You know it's the Lord's will, man. It's the Lord's will. It's there to do it. You got to go through it. All right? It says, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. The Lord is, is just by him give, making you alive, man. That's grace, man. My grace, hey, it's enough. All right? It's enough for you, man. 
You can handle that. The Lord ain't going to put too much on you where you, you can't handle, man. My grace is sufficient for you, man. All right? You can handle it. He pretty much said, yeah, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You can handle that shit. And, you know, because you got to put it in layman's terms, you know, where we can understand in a sense, you know? And my grace is sufficient for thee. It says, it says, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And that's so true, man. Why? Because we exalting Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh While we weak, we exalting the Lord, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Whose strength? Hey, Yahweh Shai's strength, man. Why? Because he was at, at, his, at his most weakest and vulnerable state. He was, man, he was strong, man. Now, to a carnal person, that will, you would look at that and say, well, how? You know, he's dying. He's, man, spiritually, he was at his peak, man. All right? And that's us, man. That's how we got to look at our lives, man. Okay? While we weak, man, that's, that's when we exalt the Lord, man. Why? Because it's going to show the Lord's strength, man. By us going through this, we going, we going through it, and we going through it, and we going to make it through, man. All through the spirit and power you have about Shemiah Shai, man. Okay? It says, my strength is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my, infir my infirmities that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. And that's the key, man. All right? We both, hey, we, 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 we glory in the fire. Hey, like, hey, thinking that's strange, man, that you go through these fiery trials, man, which are there to try you, okay? Don't think it's strange what you're going through, man. All right? Hey, we coming to serve the Lord, man. Yeah, it's easier said than done. Yeah, understand it. All right, but guess what? It's still got to be done. Whether it's easy or whether it's hard, it's got to be, it's going to be done. So set your mind all right, man, and constantly endure. All right? And that's it, man. It says, uh, verse, verse 10, it says, therefore I take pleasure in my infirmity. It's a mindset, man. It's a mindset. To be able to being able to accept what you're going through, man. And knowing that the Lord put it there for us to overcome. Or for somebody else to overcome. Somebody else can see you going through that and your weakness and see that you uplifting your high steel and your infirmities. And that give them hope. Okay? It says. Uh, uh, therefore, I take pleasure. It's a mindset to be able to accept your infirmities, man. It said in reproaches, in necessity, in things that I need, <laughs> in persecution, in distress, for you have my shiach's sake, man. Look at the word reproaches, man. Right? Impudence and pride. A wrong springing of insolence and injury. You see that? Mental injury. Hey, that's depression, man. All right? That's it, man. He had to deal with all that, man. Hey, the, hey Paul said he took pleasure in it, man. It is what it is. He needed things and necessities. Went through persecution, right? Hey, we going through this, man, right now. And it's going to get, they, the Lord going to turn up the heat. What's going to happen when that dollar crash? We have to trust in the Lord, man. All right? What's going to happen when the enemy coming in like a flood, man, and put these gurgle troops in these neighborhoods, man? The trust of the Lord, man. 
within our weakness, man. Yahamashiach, Yahweh Shai is made strong, man. Okay? It says, in distress of Mashiach 6, it says, for when I am weak, then am I strong. Why? Because Yahweh Shai fighting for us, man. We uplifting Yahweh Shai. He's going to fight for us, man. That's really who fighting for us, man. That's really who giving us the ability to swing. To keep fighting, to keep getting up. It says, I have become a fool and glorying. All right? All right, because they think it's a fool. You think you're a fool, man, to other people. They think you're a fool. Man, this nigga a damn fool. He going, you know, <laughs> right, he could be out here getting money, you know. He could be out here fucking every whore, you know. But he talking about the damn Bible, man. You're a fool. That's what they say. Be a fool for glory, and ye, uh, ye have compelled me, right? For I ought to have been commended of you, for in nothing am I behind in very cheapness, in the very chiefest apostles, though I be nothing. That's a humble mentality, man. All right? That's a humble mentality, man. It says, verse 12, truly the signs of an apostle were wroth among you in all patience and signs and wonders and mighty deeds. All right. Hey, man. Hey, man. We got to show we got to show uh, patience in this thing, man. OK. That's a sign of an apostle. Long suffering. That's the sign of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? All right, the, the fire is going down. The spirit is going down. So, with that, man, I'm not going to force the spirit. All right? Man, I pray and hope that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, have gave me the ability to edify somebody out there with this, um, with this uh, lesson. Okay? And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwam Yashra Allah, the elect. Shalom, to the next time.